Bajo sexto, bajo quinto, I say they're the grizzly bear of all guitars. They just growl. They really do. They've got a nice bite to it, and it's just such an iconic, amazing sound. And it's cool that in a short amount of time, I've been able to bring out a little of that. It's inspiring. Once you, know, you start creating that, and when I hear you play it, it sounds amazing, but when you create it for yourself, it's, it makes you want to keep playing. There's guitar players all over the world that want that sound, but yeah. they can't get it on a guitar. Yeah. So that's the cool thing about the Jimenez Bajos. They uh, uh, designed them to where the neck is, is very similar to a guitar neck. You know, it's, right. it's real small and easy to play. So it's easy to, uh, for guitar players, you're a guitar player. That's right. And, you know, you, you just learned it in Yeah, you showed me a few five chords. Seconds. We're going to do it again so that they can see. And just as an introduction, what's up, guys? I'm Dave Stutz with Sam Ash, and I'm here with Max Baca of H.E. Menez Guitars. And he's going to take me, just a simple acoustic guitar playing chump, and show me how to be an expert, amazing bajo player. So take me through uh, what you showed me before. It was it was so simple, and I love the way you introduced it to me. What are we doing so here? So the, the the bajo is pretty much tuned. Uh, uh, the quinto is tuned A. It's in fourths, so it's tuned A, D, G, C, and F. So that's what's already going to throw you off as a guitar player first, because when you get to this part in your tuning, you expect that to be in tune, but it's not. It's It's even. There's no need to drop down from the fifth to the fourth. It's all even tuning. So the way I would explain it to Dave is, um, so you get a, a full, uh, what, that, the full G? Mm -hmm. um, like, so your, it, like your bar in a G chord. Bar in a G chord, but then you, you, what you're gonna do, if you do it, it's not gonna sound. So what you do is you just come straight up to the next strings down, oh, straight, straight down, I mean. Mm -hmm. So we drop everything down one. Where the, the the middle finger is on the bottom string, and your pointy finger is going to be your bass your bass note. So um, I'm glad you said that. That actually makes it easier for me now yes. to know that the middle finger is landing at the bottom. That's it. My hand naturally fits there. You just stay now. stay in your in your bar position and just make sure that finger goes all, just go straight down to the bottom. Easy. Perfect. Easy. For guitar players, I want to learn the bottom, and um, then you're going to use your bass. Your pointy finger is your bass. Kind of boom chank boom chank so i just thought of something it helps me processing this so i don't know if it'll help you at home but now that he said that i'm no longer thinking of this as my e string i'm almost thinking of this as my e string and now this is just an extra bass note yes you know because exactly. now it makes more sense that this is a g my hand fits naturally now and I get it now. So that's cool. So for me, that's the way I'm going to think about it. It's, it's not a different note here. It's another note here. Anyway, continue. Correct, correct. So you've been, you've been playing the bow all your life. You just didn't know it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> absolutely. So the guitar players out there, man, it's, it's so simple. And, and they, um, you know, to get this sound, you can, you, can, you can get pedals and, you know, chorus pedals and face pedals, whatever. And it's, you know, there's nothing like the real sound of a... A bajo man. So. That's true. You know, so, you know. So you took me through the first part. So we have just a nice, very simple. Okay. So where do we go to next? So you're gonna go to your five chord. Okay. So now we're on the fifth fret. And from the from the bottom up, we're on the third string. That's our bass note, right? Okay. That's it. So it's just like you're playing. Almost, almost, the way I know it is that you know I normally go play a D, like you know, if you, you walk go. down like that. So that's now our chord position. Yes. So, f uh, so this was G. Going back. Okay. So we have like five, four, five. Yeah. And then do we just do the same pattern? Yes. And now your your middle finger is going to be the, the bass line. I'm a little out of tune. These guitars are brand new right out of the box, so they're going to slip a little bit. Ah. Have to take a bit. I'm gonna tune while you keep okay. talking. A bit. And then you can, you know, from there you can do your your scales that you would do it on a guitar, you know. So 
whatever, you know. So the five chord is uh, is that positioning there, and that's a seventh. And actually, we're actually, uh, I just said the G positioning for, mm -hmm. for guitar. So on the bajo, it's going to be an F, actually, an F. So that's an F. And if you, you can just use the two fingers and do this. And it's open, it's open tuning. Yeah. Oh. So that's your open F chord there. Which is the way that I would imagine I would play a G chord and just not use my lower fingers. Correct, correct. Okay. So how do we get to that four? We need to round off this whole okay. progression here. So it's pretty much where the five, where you got the five, mm -hmm. just one step down mm -hmm. and add your pinky. Add the pinky up at the fifth. Yes. Yes. Okay. That's your four chord. So, um, so theoretically, uh, going to the four. So you add your, your, the pinky to it. And then if uh, you take the pinky off, it becomes a seventh. Well, and, you know, moving to even a, a different progression, I love what it's doing harmonically. So if instead of going five to four, if you went four to five. Ah, I messed it up. I'm going to do it. Yeah, I'm learning here, but it creates a very nice harmonic progression if you go from yes, four to five. Absolutely. And then finishing with one. That and is so it, satisfying. And you you got your your minors there. Everything's there, man. You know, my, uh, F minor would be just take the the middle finger off and bar bar the other two and bar this one down. Cool. So you show me some techniques, you show me some chords and stuff, but just to get into a little bit of the nitty gritty, does it matter what pick I use? I'm a Jazz 3 XL heavy duty guy. I've noticed you use a little bit of a thinner pick. Is that I use an a styling of a Bajo? Is it traditional to I, use a thinner pick? I just, that's what I use. That's, that's what you yeah, use. Yeah, I use whatever you want. I use, I'll use this pick on a, on a guitar or even a, a mandolin or a, a tres, a cuatro. I, that's what I, I like, mm. uh, This the 88 gauge. Mm. For me, uh, it's whatever you're comfortable with, I guess, gotcha. you know? Yeah. And what kind you know, of... The lighter the, pick, the lighter the pick, here's a lighter pick, the more mm -hmm. brighter it's going to be. I just I just prefer the, uh, the the 88. So, Max, about the strings, are, are these easy to get a hold of? You can go in any Sam Ash music and grab these any strings, Sam right? Any Sam Ash store carries bajo quinto strings, bajo sexto. So, so the quinto, it's it's five strings doubled. So we have an octave on each one, kind of like a twelve-string acoustic. Yeah. So the first two, the first two, would, the A and the D would be high and the low octave. Gotcha. And then the 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 uh, D, high and low octave. Now, when you get to the G, C, and F, those are going to be paired in unisons. Cool. So these are just true doublings. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Very cool. So Max, I want to ask you, I'm not your first student, am I? You've, you've shown some, some cool people how to play Bajo before. Can you tell me that story again? Well, I guess uh, uh, 1995, I had the opportunity to, to record with the Rolling Stones and um, at uh, A&M Studios in Hollywood, along with Flaco Jimenez, of course. And um, Keith Richards, uh, he saw my Bajo sexto when I got to the studio to record the song. And uh, he said, Hey, can I see that? And I said, sure. And I was like starstruck, man. I'm like handing Keith Richards my Bajo, man. And, and he says, wow, what an amazing instrument. He's look, looking at it and he's all, and then he tried to get it and he goes, he goes, may I? And I said, sure. So he got it. He, he tried to play like a, a C chord that you would play in a guitar. And then that's when I said, it's tuned in fourths. Mm. So, um, and I showed, that's exactly what I showed you, you know, d d just like get the, the, the G and just drop down to the, for your middle fingers on the bottom string. And he's all, wow. And, and, and keep in mind this time he's, he's smoking a cigarette. Okay. <laughs> and, and the, um, the ashes is just keep, you know, he had his in the corner of his mouth and the ashes just keep going like that and he's smoking and talking at the same time, you know, and and before you know it, it just popped right, oh. dropped right down. <laughs> and A he Keith goes, Richard burn hole, right? Yes, in your and he just goes, wow, I'm, and he just wiped it off and he goes, wow, he goes, he goes, hey man, he goes, I want this. And uh, he goes, sell it to me. And I, and I was like, 
oh my God, totally caught me off guard. So I was like, man, Mr. Richards, I said, my father gave me that instrument. And he goes, oh, sentimental value. And I, he goes, name your price. <laughs> right. He says, name your price. And then um, I uh, looked over at Flaco Jimenez and Flaco was like, shrugged his shoulders. And he's like, man, who do you know? And I'm th and I was just thinking, you know, what, what do I, if I, do I sell this or not? You know, and so um, he, he, then uh, he just looked at me again. He says, name your price. So the, to make a long story short, I didn't sell in the Bajo. Um, and uh, when I got home from the tour and, and I told my father, he's, he called me a pendejo. <laughs> <laughs> because we got about the factory. But uh, The man who turned down Keith Richards. What a boss. But it's a true story, what man. What a power move. And uh, Keith, if you're out there, go into Sam Ash, H.E. Men is Bajos, man. They're still around. You can still do it. Come to Sam Ash, get you a box. And it's just so funny. Well, that you can call me and we, that's we right. can work a deal on the side there. <laughs> it's just funny that, to me, the timeline that rock stars work on. He, he clearly could have gotten a Bajo anytime, oh, any course, place. But yeah. no, that's the one that's in front of him. Yes. This is the one you shot. I want this one. Yes, and then we had just finished recording this. Oh, no, we had just got there. We be, we hadn't recorded yet. But that was, that was uh, he just, you know, saw it and he just uh, admired it. And then he heard him when he played the sound, the tone of it in the sound. He just said, wow, and he said, I want this, you know. That's amazing. I want it, Nick, you know, and so, uh, but, uh, yeah, it was, I was so um, thrilled to, just to be in his presence, sure. you know, because a uh, uh, kid, you know, at the time I was uh, maybe, what, 20, 26, something like that, and I was, um, uh, you know, coming from a small town of Albuquerque, New Mexico, and then all of a sudden, you know, recording my uh, Bajo with the Rolling Stones, man, it was Quite an experience. Awesome. Yeah, it's an awesome That's experience. Great. Yeah. You still have that bottle? I still do. Yes. Did it actually leave a mark, or was yes. it quick? Oh wow. It just, <laughs> Is it still there? Yeah, and it's cool because I, 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 I I'm amazing. preserving it. <laughs> yeah. Never get rid of it. Yeah, man. Well, Max, I can't thank you enough. When I when I found out I would be learning how to play a bajo today, I I was cautiously optimistic. I I didn't exactly buy into the fact that it would be that easy to transition. But honestly, truly, with with you know. No joking around. It was very simple. You made it very easy. Uh, learning it on my own, I think, would have taken a little longer to find all those chords. So I appreciate you showing me. That absolutely. was great. And it's absolutely true. Very simple to switch over. So check out the Bajo. Pick one up and uh, add, a, add another string instrument to your arsenal, you know? That's right. They're a lot of fun to play. Plus, you're going to get a sound that you cannot duplicate anywhere else. But That's awesome. 18 minutes, Bajos and Sam Ash. That's right. I'm Dave Stutz. This is Max from H. Jimenez, and we'll see you next time right here on the Sam Ash Spotlight.